In this tutorial, we're going to look at getting a curve to match our data. So we're going to curve fit. So here I have my data here. It's just the same data from the last tutorial. And there's two different ways to curve fit. So this one right here, hover over it, it's linear fit. So I mean, looking at your data, we can tell it's not going to be a straight line, but we'll see what it looks like. So that one will automatically fit a line to all of your data. If I had multiple sets of data, so I had just two different graphs that I was looking at or two different sets of data, then a little window comes up and you can check the little boxes to, to say which data set you want to fit a line to. So here under correlation we have this 0.96 and the RMSE is 6.7. So let's see what happens if I exclude some of these data points. So this is how you do that for any kind of fit. I can hover over this little bracket and as I click and drag it, I am excluding different data points. As I'm doing this, you can see the correlation and the RMSE value change. So here I'm getting pretty close, and this is a pretty decent line. It's fitting these three data points pretty well. The correlation is now 0.998, and the RMSE value is 1.16. The correlation is really one that we care about, and you want to get it as close to one as possible. So if you're not sure which equation to use for your data, you can look at the correlation values to see what is the best choice. So if I want a different kind of fit that isn't just a straight line, we go up here to curve fit. And here are all of your options. We have proportional, linear, quadratic. You can scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's tons of different kinds. You can also make a manual line. And so you can say, I want something that's linear. And you can input the slope. And you can change the y-intercept. This the manual also gives you the option to change the slope and the y-intercept and all the other constants in the graph itself. But generally, you just need the automatic. So here, let's see, how does quadratic work? So you click on quadratic, and over here you can click try fit. And here my RMSE value is 0.67. You know, my line looks pretty decent up here, but not so well for the bottom ones. So I'm going to go down to natural exponent. Let's try that one. And that one also doesn't work very well. So you can kind of fiddle around, try and find something that works well. Some of them, you know, really obviously that that one does not work very well. But I'm just going to go ahead and pick natural exponent, just because. So here's my line. Here is the equation. So I have y equals a times the exponent. And then this a value, those are just the constants. And then here it tells you what the constants are based off of your data.